everyone, I'm Maggie from The Little Reseller, I hope you're all okay. Um, if you haven't watched any of my videos before, I'm a part-time reseller, I buy things from charity shops and supermarkets and online and sell them on mainly Amazon but also eBay. Today's video is a what sold video, uh, if you've watched all my haul videos you'll now see what some of them have sold for. If you haven't watched one of my haul videos yet, then click above watch one of them and then come back and have a look at some sold prices. You'll remember this ski suit that um, cost me £5 and that sold for £34 plus postage. Uh, a rugby union hoodie, second hand from a charity shop again, uh, this was £5 and sold for £24.99 plus postage. Uh, Cobra 2 iron, I was kicking myself because it cost £20, um, like new but had to list it as used. Um, somebody offered me 100 and I counter offered 120 I think and I never heard from them again I was kicking myself thinking why didn't you just take it anyway a few days later somebody offered somebody else offered uh, 99.99 plus postage so that's what that sold for so I bought 10 of these fake bake um, fake tans all 10 have sold now uh, they were 10 pounds each and they sold for 34 pounds 22 each um, Playmobil fashion designer, you might remember this from one of the videos, uh, cost £1.99, sold for £14.99. Uh, second hand Monopoly City, cost £5.99 from an Oxfam and that sold for £29.64. I picked up four of these JVC blank tapes um, for a pound each from a charity shop and they all sold for £14.99. You've seen these quite a lot, I think. Uh, Strictly Glitter Ball Challenge. Uh, these were new. They cost £9 each and they sold for £24.99. Playmobil Country Kitchen. These were £7.50 each. I think I had four of them or eight. Uh, they sold for £20.55. Uh, apples to Apples. Uh, this was free because uh, I used points from a shop and that sold, they sold for £24.99 each. So a few books now. Uh, the French Kitchen cost seven ninety nine, and that sold for fourteen ninety nine. I'd had that quite a while, so I was pleased to get rid of that. Um, Nawaki book, uh, second hand. As soon as it landed at Amazon, this sold. Cost two pounds. Sold for fourteen ninety nine. Uh, a new My Little Pony book, all about the film. Um, Ten pounds eighty that cost, and that sold for twenty four ninety nine. A uh, second hand Mr and Mrs board game cost £2 and that sold for £17.50. Uh, Catan, these were new, they cost £10 each and they sold for £32.90 each. Albatross's book, um, it was marked at £20 I think this book and they crossed it out and reduced it to 50p and that sold for £14.99. Uh, a nasally spray, this was just from a clearance section in a chemist. Uh, cost £3 and that sold for £8.90. Uh, another second hand board game, Imagine If, uh, £3. Um, keep a look out for this one, that sold for £29.99, that was used. Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine Dominoes, this was new, cost £2 and that sold for £29.99. Again, really quickly, I would have liked to have got more of them. Um, a book, a uh, second hand, Eight Limbs of Yoga. Uh, if you remember when I bought this in the charity shop, the man said, uh, I didn't know spiders did yoga. That cost 50p and that sold for 11 99 Another Playmobil, uh, these, the Playmobil's all new. Uh, this was the handyman with the bike and plunger. Cost 199 sold for 19 99 um, All the Harry Potter invisibility cloaks that I bought from a supermarket in the clearance section. I think they, yeah, they were £8 each and they all sold for £24.16 each. This one's one of my favourites. Um, I would love to find a stack of these in a charity shop. This was a Haynes Pig Manual, Keeping Pigs, cost £1.50, it was second hand, and that sold for £38.72. And I think I undersold it, I thought the other prices on Amazon were a bit wishful thinking really. But they weren't, and I should have. I, I undersold it. I should have put more on it. Um, the Clangers uh, second-hand puzzle cost three pounds. That sold for nineteen ninety-nine. Again, really quickly. Uh, second-hand book on quail keeping that cost two pounds and sold for ten pounds seventy-seven. Niche, niche, niche. 
um, a new Ted Baker water bottle that cost £9 and sold for £20.78. Uh, a Remington beard trimmer, I bought a few of these. Uh, they were £5 each and they sold for £14.90 each. Uh, an Eiffel Tower 3D puzzle, uh, second hand this was, um, cost £3 and that sold for £17.99. I find that the 3D puzzles do sell really well if you can be bothered to check them. Um, Cranium Junior, this cost £4 and that sold for £34.99. Definitely look out for that one. Uh, this was a new game, um, Escape Room, cost £8.75 and that sold for £22.50. I'd had this a while. Um, it was a Winnie the Pooh imposter puzzle, Jigsaw. Uh, cost £5, it was new and that sold for £19.99. Another Haynes manual, uh, this one on caravanning. Cost £2 and that sold for £14.80, that was used. Another book, second hand, The Art of Manipulating Fabric, cost £1.99 and that sold for £16.99. Uh, this is a good one, Guess Who Football Stars, keep a look out for these in the charity shops. Cost £4 used and that sold for £24.91. Some more Playmobil, uh, The Princess Weaving, cost £1.99 and they sold for £9.99. A uh, pie face game, uh, I think I had two of these, uh, £2.50 each and they sold for £22.55 each. Another book, Designing Your Life Workbook, uh, I sold that, that was new, or like new, 50p that cost and that sold for £12.99 again really quickly. Um, Lullaby Knits, these were free, I uh, had some points on a card in the shop where I bought these and that sold for £8.32. Now, I haven't really got into Easter eggs before, but I may do next year more. I bought two just to sort of test the water a bit. I don't know how to say it, but those Easter eggs, they were £5.99 each and they sold for £16.20 each. Another book, this one was new, Falafel for Breakfast, that cost £5.99 and that sold for £19.99. Second hand book, uh, Paint Realistic Animals, that cost £3 and that sold for £24.99. Bit of Lego, this was new Lego, uh, £6.59 it cost and that sold for £15.30. Some Playmace fire truck, I think it's like environmentally friendly Play-Doh type stuff. Uh, cost £5, I bought two of them, uh, they sold for £14.80. A Sesame Street like activity triangle, I was really pleased about this because I wondered, it had a higher rank than I would normally go for in toys. Uh, cost £5 and that sold for £29.99. Another book, a second hand, How to Plant a Garden, that cost £2 and sold for £14.99. Uh, some more books, Eco Colour, these are all second hand these books, uh, £2 that cost and that sold for £19.99. Theosophy, I've no idea what that's about, cost £2, sold for £9.99. And this one, The Rose, uh, cost £3.50 and that sold for £12.99. I had a few of these Sukin facial masks, they were £3 each and they sold for £11.40 each. Spirit Jigsaw Puzzle, £1.50 this cost. Uh, it was out of stock, had quite a high rank, but I think it had a high rank because it was out of stock because that sold really quickly for £19.99. I bought a few of these Friends Top Trumps, they were £1.25 each and they've all sold now for £8.18 pence each. I think I've got a couple of these left, I think I bought about eight of them. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Memory Games, they were 50p each. I think four or five have sold uh, for £8.85 each. A Michael Owen's biography, Reboot My Life, My Time, that was free. I used some points I had and that sold for £10.62. Uh, you'll remember I had this in one of my haul videos, uh, The Neighbours Board Game quite vintage, uh, that cost £4.99 and that sold for £22.50, that was used. I remember I said before to keep a look out for two, three, four, five thousand piece puzzles, new ones because you're not going to want to check them. Um, this one that sold for £39.99 and that cost £8. Uh, these blankety blanks, they were free, I used my points that I had, they've all gone now unfortunately, no more points for now, uh, but they sold for £19.99 each. And the last one to show you is uh, the used Shark Chase board game that you'll see I had. That was £3 and that sold for £21.99. 
So yes, that's my what sold in March video. Um, I'll have a new haul video for you soon. If you haven't already, please like this video. That would be great. Really appreciate it. And please subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with what I post. As usual, if you have any questions or anything, pop them in the comments below. If you want to know things I use to sell on eBay and Amazon, if you click the title of this video, you'll see all the links come up there. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.